Right, so we're just hitting a few local ones today. Stopped off in one already and picked up a copy of Honeycomb Beat on the DS. It was only a euro. It's probably about what it's worth, but it looks like a good little puzzler. So we need to start picking up a few more DS games, but this one was fully complete. So for one euro, we can't go wrong. So we're gonna hit a couple more local ones now and then we're gonna to go to Drada tomorrow. So hopefully we get a good run there and pick up some good stuff there. We normally do well. So let's just wait and see what happens. That's where you chair had to be open again. Chasing someone. Oh, 66. Yeah, yeah. Two falls off. Right, so we're breaking all the rules lately. In the last one, I spent three euro on a couple of games, even though that was sort of above my limit before. In this one, we're after grabbing two games for five euro each. But I think they were worth it. We got Street Fighter 4 on the PS3. It's complete, it's in immaculate condition. And we got GoldenEye Reloaded as well. Definitely normally wouldn't spend that much on games in the charity shop, but they're two titles that are worth the price. But the main reason we got them was because we had this Wii Sports. There was no price in it. I was prepared to pay a fiver because flipping this would cover the cost of the other two, but it was actually only three. So we spent 13 euro all in for those three games. So we're off to a good start. Okay, so that was another successful stop. We went three for three today on the local charity shops, but just grabbed, nothing mad in that one, but we got the two Buzz games for two euro each. Probably about what they're worth. Well, I think the original one, the big quiz, might be worth like a five or something like that. Grabbed Assassin's Creed 3 because I don't think I have that on the 360. They actually had two copies of it in there. I was gonna go ahead and grab the first one. I seen there was a second one with the manual, so that was grand. And did I double check this one? I did, both discs are in there, so that's grand. Picked up NBA 2K13. Don't think it's a special one, probably worth about two euro. Don't really pick up sports titles, but I don't know, maybe some of the NBA games, I don't know, they might be worth something at some stage. And then grabbed a copy of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This is the legendary edition. I only got this in my mystery box for the PS3 in the last video, but it was fully complete. Again, all the discs were there in really nice condition. And I think this is like a 12 euro game, so that's a pretty good pickup as well. So we'll keep one of the versions. Well, we'll probably keep both because I think the other one had a nice map in it, but you know me, addiction, everything has to be kept. And then just randomly grab these six DVDs for euro each. Just a mix of like Turtles, Marvel, sort of Transformers sort of stuff. So I don't know if they're worth anything, but they look cool little pop culture thing so they might be a nice thing to have on the shelf maybe some of them are worth a few quid you never know so yeah we're gonna leave it for today and then we're gonna hit draw the tomorrow gonna do the usual hit about eight in a row down there so hopefully we have a bit more success but with good day today we got some good pickups so we're off to a good start for this one So no games in that first one. Did grab a copy of Jaws on Blu-ray for Euro. That one will trade for a six and CEX, so a handy little bit of trade credit there. So we're in Drogheda, they're gonna walk into the town now and hopefully have a bit of luck in the other stops.
Well, it's not much in that one either. A few little odds and ends, but we've got three more stops to go, so fingers crossed we get some games before the end of the day. Okay, so didn't have much luck in Drogheda this time, but we're on a little day out in Scary, so we're gonna do a pit stop in one or two along the way, and hopefully we have a bit of luck there. Right, so we're back in the game room, absolutely cleaned up in scaries. That's definitely somewhere we're gonna to have to hit a bit more often. Only went to two places. One of them you've seen with all the PlayStation 2 games. They were all four euro each. I actually seen it, we were driving past and I caught a glimpse of the shop and I swore I seen a shelf full of PlayStation 2 games. So I had to make sure we stopped by there. They had a good few games in there. A lot of them were sort of older sports titles, games that are only worth a euro or two there was a few good ones there was a few tony hawks a couple of others that were probably would have been worth picking up for four euro but anything i opened up was missing manuals missing discs wrong discs discs were scratched a bit so we didn't get anything in there but the other charity shop we cleaned up we got this pile of 13 games for 26 euro so i've pretty much shown everything else that i picked up while i was out hunting so i'll just go through this pile very quickly so Again, these were all two euro each. I'm pretty sure nearly all of them are complete as well. So we got a copy of Dead Island Riptide. I don't know, I kind of like some of these zombie type games. They can be a bit of crack. They're just sort of hack and slash. Like It's an easy way to kill a half an hour. So we'll have a go with that. There's a few Lego games mixed in here as well. Some of them are actually, you know, there's a few quid in them. They sell pretty well or they trade pretty well. But we don't have any of them, so we'll keep them. And maybe they'll have a go with them one day. But got a copy of Lego Avengers. Uh, let me just gather up all the Lego ones here while I'm at it. Uh, Lego Jurassic World as well. And then, was that the other one? There was two more. There's Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And the uh, Lego Batman Tree Beyond Gotham. So, I have a rake of Lego games. I've got loads of them on the Wii as well. So, they're supposed to be really fun. I just haven't gotten around to playing any of them. We'll definitely have to give them a go at some stage. 
Then one of the traders that we got was a copy of Minecraft PlayStation 3. We picked this up and traded in all day long. I think it's still going for about eight at the moment. So I think between that, Formula One we had already. And the Just Dance 2017. We'll, we could probably flip those and get the whole lot back, but it's probably easier to just trade them in and we'll probably get about, I don't know, 15 quid in trade credit back. So it'll basically cost us nine euros to keep the rest of the games. What else was in there? Oh yeah, copy of GTA 5. I actually have this. I think I picked this up. Was this the one I picked up in the last one? It was, yeah, it was GTA 5. I got the special edition. I got the steel book on the 360. And I have this on the PS4 as well. So probably will end up keeping the PS3 version as well because I just hoard everything. But one day, I swear, one day I'll go through and pick out anything. I have duplicates across different systems and just get a pile of stuff out of there and just sell it off or trade it. A copy of Disney's Bolt. No idea if that's any good. Hitman Absolution. We'll give that a little go. And then we also got, this is a pretty good one. It was the Hitman HD Trilogy. So the three original Hitman games remastered in HD. So we'll have a go with those. I think everything else here I showed off. Yeah, just outside of that. GameStop have been having a sale for the last few weeks. I'm not sure if it's still ongoing or not, but hopefully a few people picked up some games there because I got a rake of stuff with the PS4. Dirt cheap. I was in... Which one was it? I think I was in GameStop in Balbriggan. Just browsing around one day and decided to pick out anything that was a few euro and have a go of. So don't really know much about any of these, but I just said for the sake of... I think it was 10, 11 quid all in for six games, so... I just said we get them, we'll try them one day. But if they're any good, you can let me know if there's any of your favourites in here. Got a copy of Anthem for two euro. Killzone Shadow Fall for two euro. I think the Killzone games are generally pretty good. Don't know much about that one in particular. Uh, Helldivers, no idea, it was 99 cent. Fallout 76, I have talked about this before. This is one that I have actually played through. I downloaded the digital version of it. So it's nice to have the physical version of it, and for 99 cent again, you can't go wrong. Picked up a copy of Rocket League for two euro. They're normally fun games, and I got a copy of Dead Rising for Frank's Big Package. So three euro for Frank's Big Package. Yeah, sounds wrong, I know. But then a few online purchases as well. Now these were all five euro each, but a few of these I picked up doubles of. So in the last one. You see, and I got the three PS4 games that I got two copies of each just to get the money back and trade, basically, but I ended up giving them away. But this time, I got two or three of them, and I've already traded them off. So we've basically got one, two, three, four, five, six games here, and we've already gotten our money back for them. But, yeah, all five euro each. A copy of Blue Fire on the PS4. This is one I actually wanted to get for the Switch a while ago. But it hasn't come down in price yet. Um, you know, yourself, Switch games, they just hold their value. But yeah, this one was five euro. I got it in a rare turn up event. I've actually played it since I bought it. I probably put about an hour, hour and a half into it. Really enjoying it so far. So for five euro, if it's still going for that price, definitely recommend picking it up. And then just a few more I don't know much about. Generation Zero. Zombie Army 4, Dead War. Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz HD. I have a couple of Super Monkey Ball games on the way there. Actually good fun. For five euro, I just avoid that, and it was brand new and sealed. So, a copy of Nio 2. Again, don't know much about it. Just seen Japan 15.55, and I just thought, oh yeah, that's interesting. And then actually one cheap Switch game, a copy of Black Future 88. Another one that was five euro. We grabbed two copies of and sent the other one back into CEX. So basically, get it for free. So a few games there will have a go. Of. As I said, if you've played any of them and you enjoyed them, let me know. But yeah, other than that. Yeah, I showed everything else, so I guess it's on to the main event, why most people have probably stuck around this long. So I entered, it's like an online draw, there's a social media site, I'm a member of a group there, and they do sort of draws for different consoles, you buy tickets for. I've done well in the past, I don't know if it's the same group or not, but if you've been here since the start, you probably see one of my first videos where I talk about the N64. I got a complete boxed N64, a complete box Sega Saturn, and a rake of games, one those in the raffle haven't won anything since until this so it came with a copy of the show console first so we want a nintendo gamecube now 
I don't normally enter the draws when it's a console that I already have. Actually, sorry, this came with Resident Evil 4 as well. But yeah, I just decided to enter this one because I don't have an actual GameCube box. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the copy of Resident Evil 4 because it's a game I don't have. But I already have a GameCube hooked up here that I play. I've got a spare GameCube over there. I actually have a third GameCube in the drawer of shite that I'm kind of keeping to, I don't know, maybe do a little mod or something on it one day. So we don't need four GameCubes, so I am going to get the GameCube that's in here. It's complete. It's got all the cables. It's got a controller. I'll probably grab a memory card over the next couple of weeks because you need that and maybe a game to throw in as well. But basically, I'm going to give this away. So I know we're going mad. We give away games in the last one and we're giving away consoles in this one. But I don't need four GameCubes. Hopefully someone out there will get the use out of it. So basically, if you want to win the GameCube, I'll make it a little bit stricter than the last one. The last time all you had to do was throw a comment in saying you wanted to be in the draw. So obviously you have to do the same in this one. Leave a comment below saying you want to be in the draw for the GameCube or you want the GameCube, something like that. You have to be subscribed to the channel. I want to give this away to someone that's subscribed to the channel. You have to like the video as well. So do those, those three things like comment and subscribe and you'll be in the draw for the gamecube i'm gonna let it run for two weeks so whatever time of day this video comes out exactly two weeks later is when i'm gonna close the draw off and i'll probably do like a live youtube video then and draw out the winner live so so yeah two weeks to enter so best of luck to everyone but that's it just a very quick look at what we picked up over the last few weeks we'll be back again in a few weeks to do the live draw for the gamecube and we'll have some more live video game hunting so look after yourselves thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon Cheers.